The fun's about to go down. Welcome to the lake. Yeah. We're gonna go do some tubing. Tubing? <laughs> Tell everyone what the joke was. <laughs> I, get, I, what's the guy's name? Tim Hawkins, Tim Hawkins. does Tim, like, this whole yeah. thing about meeting people in Minnesota and how they're the most friendly people in the world until they get behind a ski boat. Uh -huh. And they're like, we're going tubing, Tim. And then they like turn into the <laughs> devil and just like kill you. <laughs> I bet you can't flip me off. Like, oh, flip me over. Wow. wow. Yeah, I bet you can't. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Who sent that to us? Well, the front office. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're doing the edges, huh? Yeah. Woo! I live in Arizona, technically. Technically. I've provision for more hurricanes in the past five years than my entire life. Lovely. Don't do it. We're way too close. We're way too close. Uh, Alright, so we decided to leave because Hurricane Henry ended up starting to go a little bit to the west where we are. And we thought it made more sense if we just kind of get out of the area that there could be possibly flooding and high winds. And even though this is a pretty good site because there's not a lot of situation where like trees are gonna topple over on top of the rig um, we're still pretty close to the to the shore and as far as right now the path of the hurricane could come right through here we figured let's just go west go a little bit higher ground we'll get out of it I turned on the news basically said you're gonna die millions are gonna be without power by Monday morning we're down to the iPhone <laughs> GoPro's dead Canon's dead it's Saturday. I really just want to be editing and uploading a video, but we have to leave due to the hurricane. We've decided to go a little bit north and a little bit west. In hopes to get away from what's going on here. It's building steam. We thought it was going to lose steam. It's building steam. So the campground yeah. said, you can leave your rig here, but you should go due to flooding. And uh, well, this is our home, so we need to bring it with us. Yeah. So uh, Trish, you're going to look at a harvest host. I think that's probably our best bet. Cause it'd be out in a nice little farm field and we don't need power and maybe no one's gonna have power anyway and uh we got 100 percent water yes and uh, we have a generator if we need it and we took showers so and we're, we took we're showers for... we're, we're set for like two days and i went grocery shopping yesterday yeah yeah so all right i gotta go. put the shaky cam down i'll see you in a little bit so. Continue okay so miles. we are six minutes away from a harvest host golf course location miss trisha came up with a good plan Tell everyone the plan. <laughs> well, I don't really know. That. Here's the thing. What? You want to just go find an RV? Let's just go somewhere else. Okay. Now we're back on the 395, headed north, and Trish is going to make a new plan. <laughs> Whoops, that's a Walmart. Got yeah, milks. Yes, I am. What'd you find? I found an X Elks Club. There you go. E-L-K-S. <laughs> Best people on earth. That's right. B-P-O-E. We're going to go hang out there. It's. I think it's just like dry camping, but that works for us. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. oh, I think the RV sites are over there with the cones? No. Get my Elks card, babe. We're going to show some credentials. Hi. Hello. I think we're doing a pretty good job with the change of plan situation. I, I mean, do we too. still have no idea where we're going. Or what we're doing. Or what we're doing, but we found a great place to be tonight. Great place. A great place. And um, and Caleb said the connection's pretty good. Oh, good. Yeah. So you're going to get what you need. So we've avoided a hurricane. We're going to upload a video, and we're going to come up with a game plan. That's what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. A couple of tips I want to share with you. One is, we keep one of these right next to the door. And absolutely fabulous. Second thing I do is I keep this by the door too. I have a three foot in the bumper, and of course we have the Level Mate Pro, but this thing is great because just a quick and easy way to see if you're level overnight. I don't need to get all OCD about it. 
when it's just a single night. If we're off just a little bit, that's fine, but this is good. And then the third thing that I love is this thing. We use this to put our feet up when we're in the RV. We use this right, right here. I'm probably not even gonna put these steps down. Probably just gonna use this to get up and in. And then I use this to reach things on the RV that wasn't locked. I'll just go ahead and lock it. Instead of having to hop like you've seen me hop in SS Park. So, love this thing. Trish, where'd you get it? Well, I got that at like Marshalls or something. Yeah. But I bet you could find um, a collapsible little step stool. Yeah, I've seen a lot are. of people. They are. Cool those are those are definitely one. better, but they are also not metal. We've had this for a long time. Long time. I'm afraid that if it was the plastic collapsible kind, that probably the, be broken by now. But the it only is problem nice is the dog fly. will not step on that. Charlie will avoid this here. Right? Yeah, he won't. He yeah. won't use it. All right, those are just uh, some random RV tips. I'm gonna get my laptop set up and get to work, and then uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a happy hour. Look at but the breeze is starting to come in from the uh, from the out outskirts the of the hurricane. But uh, it's beautiful right now. The rain has finally caught up to us. I think we're gonna be dealing with it for the next few days, but at least we're not gonna be dealing with a hurricane. And we've had to reroute. Wow, there's no step here anymore. Whoa. We've had to reroute pretty much everything. We've canceled plans up in Newport and Cape Cod. We actually had RV park reservations at P-Town, way at the top. And uh, there is some flooding, not flooding, but you know, accumulation of water over by the RV here. And so now we're headed to, actually we're gonna go up and visit uh, Jesse and Corey with Finding Our Someday. They are up in Portland, Maine, and we were keeping in touch after the NASCAR episode, and so they said, hey, why don't you come up here and hang out for a few days, and, and we thought that sounded like a good idea. So we're gonna go hang out with them for a little bit, and, uh, and, then, um, and then we're trying to decide our route back. We have a couple ideas on how to get back to Michigan to pick up the bird, but that's all. That's what we're doing right now. Caleb's just out here flying a kite in the rain. We're gonna get packed up and hit the road. All right, 246 arrival, two hour drive, 137 miles. Great. Head southwest. Okay, I will. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> testing a new location for the Easy Pass because the little sticky things have come off of the Easy Pass, others prohibited. So anyway, we're trying to see if the Easy Pass works up in the tray of the F-250. The things It'd be good you do on a road trip. All right, let's see, yeah, let's see. if it works. Boom, Thank you. it works. Oh, hi. Hi. The size of this park, huh? Look at this. Look at how many sites there are. We're going down here, we're turning right. We're at the very last site next to the cabins. Hopefully there's not a lot of trees, but I don't think the storm's gonna make its way up this high. No, it looks like it's going out to the ocean. Yeah. So, but hey, I'd like it to take its ring with it. Hey, this is like, this is one of those parks where I think people go to like, summer camp, you know, summer camp kind of a yeah. thing. Um, we've you been mean at, like, Seasonally, like yeah, come here like, to be like vacation, up here. like you're doing the thing, you know. Um, lately, we've been booking stuff like this because lately we've been at some really random RV parks, and we just think that sometimes, some, sometimes parks like this are a little bit more uplifting, shall we say? I bet you. Well, that's that, no, see, because look, oh, the next that's very that next road, street, it's the very next street, it's not that one, it's this one. I see. Right here. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I see.
probably gonna have to come up quite a bit, Caleb. You there? All right, Jack, ready to start this experience? Okay, tell me when to stop, tell me when we're level. All right, sounds good. How are we looking now? A little bit more. Hold on real quick. A little more? Yeah, go more. Stop, 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 stop. Is that good? Okay. Yes. We're level? Back on those Anderson oh my marks. gosh, it's perfectly level. Are you too far Where's back? Where's the GoPro? Is it working? Yep. No, we're not too far back. Okay, good. Well, here's the thing, Trish. I mean, if you don't want to go into town, if you don't want to go into town, we don't even need to disconnect. All right, well, you know what we could do? First of all, let's put the awning out so we can at least get the dog out. All right, that's good. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now we have a little refuge. There we go. This is oh. called for you air streamers. This is called caravan mode. You just pull it out. You take the bars and you click it up there, and then you just put it up. You don't. We don't like mess with this. This center one and all that stuff. Just. And then you can still open and close the door. This is how we use the awning 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's good, huh? Caleb's hooking up the sewer so we can take some nice warm showers. <gasps> we'll sweep up, fall hookups, baby. That's right. And then uh, I think we're gonna be mooch docking with the Nickersons at a house. So that means we're gonna be on our P's and Q's when it comes to the you know, water, consumption. water consumption. So we'll just. Well, it's gonna be, we're gonna be in lake mode, and if the sun comes out, it'd be great. Might just be a little hard for the first few days. But uh, anyway, all right, I'll turn off the car, get Charlie, get the mat, see how Caleb's doing. Hey, but these mats, these mats worked really well, didn't they? They're fantastic. It's the first first time I've really used them in sand, and they did great. Yeah. We usually use them in rocks. Yeah, the other time that those mats, those Anderson block mats, work well is in gravel. Stop. Nope. So Anderson blocks have a little mat that you can put down and I have not bought one. And I don't know why I haven't bought one because in gravel, you need it. But I will say, eight times out of 10, I need to come up this much and I've got these little wood blocks and I either put one down on one tire or I put them both down and I come up this much. I only use the Anderson blocks if I need to come yeah, up more water than this much. Mm -hmm. What? Are we doing the water purifier? No, that's all right. Water seems to be there. Here. You know, I'm okay with not knowing where we're gonna be like every night, mm -hmm. but I am not okay with no overarching plan. It stresses me out. Yeah, when your plane gets derailed, it is kind of, you feel like you're a, a floating a ship without a rudder. Yeah, so we need an overarching plan, and, um, and then you mix that with bad weather and a messy RV, and it almost drives me bananas because I can't think straight. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, so figure out what your triggers are. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. Make your turn wider so you're not so tight to their truck. Come over more passenger side. Yeah, that's good. Now, more passenger side, if you can, more passenger side. Like a little that? Bit more. Yep, and then if you, um, now you can straighten it out. You can come to more driver's side. Okay, and you have one foot and stop. Stop, stop. I'll check it out. What is happening what is right going now? on? All right, this Trish. So you, have you gotten the whole tour yet while I was no, setting I up? No, we paused. This we paused. The beach. Yeah. But look at this. This is insane. Yes. And the rain stopped because we brought the rain. I'm very sorry. No, it's fine. But it, it paused. Totally hey, not that we're with anyone that needs introductions, but make introductions. Okay, so we have Jesse and yes. Corey. Hey, Finding our someday. You yes. know them. And so um, they gave us our refuge <laughs> from a hurricane. From we're hurricane? like, okay, so I guess we're just leaving our plans. And then, you know, we started chatting. And, sure. And so, poof, here we're we like, are. Welcome. This is what you can do in an If only you could have made it a better location, somewhere more desirable um, sorry, to. Guys. 
Yeah. I, we really wanted to give you the quintessential main, but we can't. Sorry. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to make do with this. We'll, we'll make sure there's a house on the coast next time. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, boy, what? Pinball? Wait, wait. Now it's 10. Hey, I might get a high score right now, actually. This is fun. I love the lake. Joined the Navy when I was young, and I was like, I can, I'm gonna go to the West Coast, you know. Yeah. And then it came down to pick West Coast or East Coast, and I was like, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want you to see what time it is. 4.25. You know, I'll tell you what. That's what happens when you hang out with photographers. You know? That's what they want to do crazy things like like the sunrise. Like the sunrise. Mark goes, really? Are we, we're we doing the sunrise? I'm just joking. We're up for anything. We're super excited we because are. Corey and Jesse are like showing us their main. And their main is stunning yes we went out on the lake already this morning we my first alarm went off at four i was mm -hmm. like forget you where's the snooze trish, button <laughs> trish says how's your sleep i said i'm in the middle of it <laughs> <laughs> still happening um so anyway so making some coffee I'm gonna throw it in my little coffee my little coffee pot Ooh. we're gonna bring it with us Ooh. we're gonna watch the sunrise and then there's a place called holy donut and um, we're gonna go grab some donuts. I haven't done this since I was a kid. I remember doing this with Kelly, my really? best friend from middle school. Waking up super early and grabbing a donut and going to the lighthouse? Well, her parents, I don't even know what her dad would go take us to go do, like fishing, different things in mm -hmm. California. You wake up really early, All so right. anyway. Gotcha. That's what we're doing this okay. morning. Okay. Ready, 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 ready. Our, our social agenda planners. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. I love I'm it. I'm here really at your service. <laughs> Our donut shop in Arizona. Excellent. So here's the thing. Our deal is sunrise and donuts. That's something we always do, coffee and donuts for sunrise. It's how we got the girls, you know, to come mm -hmm. with us and be excited about getting up in the morning when they were little. But um, in Maine, sunrise is very early, earlier than some donut shops open. So yes. we will so do, do donuts after sunrise yes. when we're in Maine. Sunrise donuts. Donuts and sunrise. another beach. Yeah, and another beach. Yes, <laughs> move around. But we could do coffee. Dad. You guys have fun. Oh. Yes. Charlie. <laughs> He's excited today. He's excited. Yeah. He likes sunrises. Charlie, uh, high ten. Oh, high ten. High ten. Oh. Come here. Come here. Up here. Oh, oh here we good go. Job. Ah.
When I'm at the ocean, I feel like I'm home. I love it. <laughs> that was my spot. I used to take, get a Subway sandwich, and I would go sit on a bed. Everybody look away. <laughs> Man, Maine, Maine is definitely one of my favorite states. Totally dynamic, gorgeous, stunning at every turn, and the food is good. Yes, the, the food is produce, great. The food is great. The seafood and the friends. I was yes. trying to see. There, yes. there was some sarcasm in there, and no, it's, it got sincere there for a minute. This is awesome. This is so beautiful. This is this so This was the funny. captain's house. Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> you used to be able to climb through it, but they've got all the uh, fencing up now. Honestly though, what a gorgeous house. I mean, when you really imagine what this would have looked like in its heyday, with look at the stonework around the windows. and Here inside, you can kind of see where the, the beams would have been, you know, coming yes. out of the wall where they burned out. This you can see neat. old fireplaces. Well, and even the elevation and, and the setback and, oh, the, yeah. and the nooks, it's the way grand, they've yeah, done it, it's, come up to it. it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And none of these trees were here. So behind here, so you had a clear view to the ocean. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, what is this? So this, this will go all the way around the back and come out that way. So there's so another we'll entrance right back. I'm going to go first because he doesn't know where the pipe is. Okay, you got to drop it. Hold the dog. Hold the dog. Hold my dog. You coming? Okay, you're not coming. You sure? I'm good. Let's stick together. Oh, Come man. on. Oh, oh yeah. Here, oh, I, I see the master right there. I don't know if I like this. Right like this. Oh, full shower. Okay, the kitchen. Right, you guys are disappearing into the darkness. Bye. I really don't know if I like this, honestly. Honestly, you know where the pipe is. Yeah, so oh, I don't know. What? I don't know about this. Come on, catch up, Caleb. I guess we're going stop there. I okay. sound like I'm claustrophobic, but I believe in spiders. Yeah, okay. and then there's that. Spiders are oh, real. Oh. You know what's here? Come, come, okay, come. Start. What about flashlights? Okay. What happened to that? Start right here, Lou. Okay, ready? I'll stop. Right here, you go. Whose idea okay. was this? I don't know, actually. How do we get roped into this, Caleb? Uh -huh. Where are you? Um, I don't even know. Hey. Funny. Yeah, your shoulder barely fit through Caleb. there. Woo! Wow. You made it out. Well done. Wow. Wow, I feel like a new man. It's pretty fun, actually. Is it really? It is actually kind of interesting. Tell me about I it. Think that, <laughs> I think you'll leave Maine and you'll be like, I should have gone through the tunnel. Darn it. So. You know what I know I need? A donut. A donut. Do you have to be this high? I'm, not, I'm like, your shoulders are not. <laughs> or maybe, are you not allowed in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tasting all the donuts. We're going to two Every donut locations. Uh, yes. We are? So, yes. Are this we, one's what? for Caleb. Yeah, this is this is the gluten-free version and then we're doing two options. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're going to the beach? Yeah, we're going to the beach. Really? Oh, you didn't know that? No, I know nothing. I hold the camera. I'm the camera guy. So we're going to Higgins Beach, our favorite beach. Mm -hmm. um, this is the beach we went to, you know, after we got married, you know, to, to step away while the party emptied. Okay. Uh, it's just our favorite beach. It's like a wide open beach at low tide, so it's, you could walk down like half a mile. Nice. Our Man, I was kind of kidding. I was kind of kidding when we showed up and I said put together our entire content schedule for yeah. us, but you're really delivering. I'm, I took it to heart. I took it seriously. <laughs> Accepted the challenge. <laughs> The only other time that we've ever in our life had donuts on the beach was Chacala, Mexico. And people will be walking with a tray of donuts. Really? Tray of donuts. There's no resort, there's no hotel. They walk around with donuts. And they walk yeah. around with big trays of donuts and then you buy donuts on the beach. It was the craziest thing. I, we, gotta, we gotta go to Mexico. You gotta go to Mexico. This, right? mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Got great drone footage there. It was a truly, like Mexico experience yeah. to be somewhere where there were no tourists. Exactly. Well, you there go no in Americans. the back and you pick out what fish you want and they take the whole fish and they grill it for yeah. you and they bring it to the table and you just eat the fish. Yeah. Why well, I got to skedaddle. I got to make like a tree and leaf. So uh, it's, been, it's been lovely. Don't do it. We're way too close. We're way too close. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. How long have you had your license? 
Uh, not long enough. No. <laughs> That's the right answer. <laughs> it's time for us to roll out. But um, I don't know what else to say. I'm at a loss. Unscathed. Yes. <laughs> no, no one was hurt. Not, nope. There were a couple little mishaps that all can be solved with like Gorilla Glue, sure. duct tape, yep. Amazon. Like that. Amazon. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I have something coming for you guys from Amazon. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yep. Nothing else to <laughs> That's because you don't know yet. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's a surprise. I like surprises. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for opening up your house for us and your. Just the cooking was fun. The sheer so cooking good. was sheer fun. Good yes. Really. yes. That's what we love about cooking. It's like hanging out, trying new stuff, sharing your, your different ideas. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, hanging out around a grill. That's yeah. so good. And I'm so Perfect. excited to use all of the Trisha Leach spice <laughs> spices. We got some, uh, we got some we got spices some to try out serious now. serious stuff to try out. Really, thank you so much. You're welcome. It was really cool. All right, GoPro, take a photo. Sam? Yeah. We got some goods. Let's have our second donut tasting oh, of the geez. morning. Instant levels are rocketing. Well, I am only having one bite. Just to be. Yeah. Just to be, I yeah. really am. I really am. I mean, it was a big bite. That's it. That's commitment right there. Like it's not. A, I, he's looking through my sunglasses <laughs> into my eye. You like to record flowers too, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, I try. Wow. We're all hooked up. Wash your hands now. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these. You, you saw it. You saw it. <laughs> you see how good I reacted though? Instead, like you're the doing eyebrow. so much better than than one drip of gray water near the eyeball. If you saw what it looked like, if you saw where it dripped from, all right, that is so insensitive. That is so insensitive. <laughs>